<laughs> so why is it important for kids your age to be learning math, science, physics? So you know when you're older. Why else would it be important? So you can get a job. Ready? Oh! <laughs> so this is our impetus roller coaster camp and we've been doing it, this is our eighth year. The students actually split up into a roller coaster engineering company and there are different divisions within that company. There's the seventh and eighth graders are concept engineers, ninth and tenth graders are design engineers, and the eleventh and twelfth graders are safety engineers. And they actually spend part of the week building a roller coaster from a scaled uh, blueprint model up to a simulation, first rider simulation experience that can be viewed on a laptop. While they're doing that, well, while certain groups are working on their tasks there, the other ones are learning how to use accelerometers and doing events like the Mythbuster challenges to get a better idea of just the math and physics that go into um, the motion of a roller coaster and how, and how it all works. Whoa! I think the material at the camp, we very carefully designed it so that it's aligned with the math and science standards. And our hope is that by taking the students outside the classroom and doing less plug and chug uh, computations that they're really getting a better understanding of how math and science can be used in the real world. And it, it's exciting for them to see it, um, to be able to make a prediction and do an experiment and see how close they were and maybe understand if they weren't close, why. We spent yesterday, for example, for the ninth and 10th graders who were just here, talking about uh, potential and kinetic energy so they could figure out if their roller coaster car will go to the, the very, very end. And uh, what we try and do with these types of activities, like the human cannonball and the rocket car activities, are give them an opportunity to try and reinforce those ideas in a different context. That way they don't just think that you know, potential energy and kinetic energy, they're not just things about that, that are involved with roller coaster design. They're all around us in almost every facet of our lives. Well, you get to interact and do stuff. On a paper, all you're doing is just writing. Yeah, it's very different. When you're seeing it in action, it can be a lot more fun.